We often hear it after a local homicide, police and family calling upon the community to come forward with information that could lead to an arrest. But that doesn't always happen. Alex Love joins us now in the studio with more on a new bill crafted to encourage witnesses to come forward. Alex. Definitely, Adam. Senator Jeremy Cooney drafted this bill and made the announcement at the corner of North and Herald Street, where 14 year old Julius Greer Jr. was killed at the beginning of January. Explaining this legislation is needed to encourage anyone who knows something to speak up for justice. Still no arrest made or people of interest announced in the killings of Julius Greer Jr., along with dozens of other homicides. Senator Jeremy Cooney is convinced in all these cases, someone knows who's responsible, but won't come forward out of fear of retaliation. Making that phone call to Mr. Greer was a very difficult thing to do. Any grieving parent, incredibly difficult. Something. And the frustration I heard in his voice, because he believes that there are individuals who do know. If passed, homicides would be added to the list of crimes where the prosecution can withhold the identity of any 911 caller, victim, or witness until the case goes into trial with the suspect in custody. Witnesses' identity will be protected during the criminal investigation process. With this added level of protection for witnesses, it is our goal to encourage those with information to feel confident when coming forward. In a statement, the Rochester Police Department supported this kind of legislation, saying in part, legislation such as the Homicide Witness Protection Act is one of many steps needed. Victim and witness cooperation is crucial to arresting offenders as well as achieving successful prosecutions. To guarantee a fair trial, defense attorneys still have a legal right to request disclosure through the courts if warranted. There's a standard that would allow the defense attorneys uh, to petition the court uh, to get that information of the witness, its identity, uh, presented earlier uh, than in a criminal trial situation. But they'd have to show a very high standard to the judge. Out of the 81 homicides Rochester experienced in 2021, about 53% have been solved as of this week. A stat Senator Cooney believes would be higher if witnesses had more protection to remain anonymous. Adam? Alex, thank you. The bill currently in committee as Senator Cooney looks to get it on the floor in a bipartisan fashion.